Hi darlings, welcome back. So you might have been expecting a Vlogmas video today, in particular my New York vlog, or the first of my New York vlogs, um, but I decided last minute, super duper last minute, to switch around the schedule a little bit because Thursday is my normal, or one of my normal upload days, and I haven't done a what's new in my wardrobe this month. And I've had quite a lot of requests to do one since it is uh, following Black Friday, following my trip to New York, and I have got some really, really lovely new winter things to share with you. And I often get feedback as well that by the time I mention these things on YouTube, because I've already showed them on Instagram, they're often sold out. So a lot of these things are still in stock, so I wanted to get this video up for you as quickly as possible. Having said that, my first New York vlog will be up tomorrow, so don't worry darlings, you do not have long to wait for that. So this will be the last What's New in My Wardrobe video for 2019, the last of the decade, oh my goodness. And having said that, I'm obviously thinking about what kinds of videos you guys like and what my schedule is going to be in 2020, in the new decade. So please let me know if you still enjoy these kinds of videos, do you find them useful? Is there something completely new you'd like to see from my channel in the new year? Please let me know. Your feedback is the most important thing to me, literally. It helps me out so, so much, so please do get chatty in the comments below. It really is so helpful for me and I'm so thankful for your time. So without further ado, let's get started with what's new in my wardrobe for December 2019. As always, absolutely everything will be linked in the description box down below. And lots of these things you will be seeing me wearing in action in tomorrow's video. So definitely watch my first New York vlog tomorrow when that goes up. So I'm gonna get started with um, some luxury pieces because I always get so excited to share them with you. This first one, because I wasn't planning on doing this video, I actually do more of a talk about it um, in my second New York vlog, so the Come Shopping With Me, which will be going up on Saturday. So I'm only gonna talk about this really briefly, but it is my new Prada backpack. This was kind of a bit of a birthday present um, from me to me. I've got it filled, actually I've got it overfilled right now. It's got a load of makeup bags in here. <laughs> okay, now it's empty and a lot lighter and easier for me to hold. So I do not have, I did not have until this point a beautiful designer backpack and I very often found myself wanting one, whether it was for an activity like going walking or spending a day. Um, it, you know when you go to a new city, like New York, you're doing a lot of walking, a lot of exploring and you want the way of whatever you're carrying evenly distributed and just away so that you can be hands-free so that was one of the main reasons why I picked this up I thought the color was really neutral really versatile and it's a pebbled leather which means it's really hard wearing and very practical indeed size wise it's really big so I was carrying my big Canon 5d camera around in this which is amazing because sometimes I just have to have my cute crossbody bag and then my camera on my shoulder and then it's got this very practical zippy pocket on the front I got this bag from Farfetch they have the best selection of designer pieces as you guys know I shop there a lot for my designer thing. So this is the first thing that I got from Farfetch. I did pick up a couple of others, including, and you may remember these have been on my wish list for a little while, the beautiful Zimmerman Super 8 shorts. So I have the last year version of these with the um, kind of like loop scallop detail. This is the new Spring Summer 20 design. You can see it's got scallop detail down at the bottom here and a bow. It's so white that you can barely actually see it, but there is a bow at the top here, these I just cannot wait to wear. I feel like I want to book a hot holiday just so I can wear these as soon as possible. Farfetch also have the most amazing collection of Zimmerman, which is one of the many reasons I love the website. And um, they get the designs really quickly. This is the Spring Summer Super 8 collection. So I was very surprised to see these so soon. If you guys have anything from Farfetch on your wish list, you may remember that I do work with Farfetch on a regular basis. And you can use my code JOSIEFF10 to save 10%, which is it's amazing because as you know these designer things very rarely go on sale so that's a nice way of saving a little bit whether it's a little gift for someone else or for yourself it's a really nice way of saving 10% so Josie FF10 it will be valid at least until the end of the month and then the final thing that I treated myself to at Farfetch this actually is an unboxing because I've not seen these in real life before. It is another pair of Jimmy Choo's. So as you know, I used to be, and still am, a real Valentino gal when it comes to footwear. I love my rock studs. I still absolutely adore them. Um, they are still the most comfortable shoes in the world. 
but since I got my beautiful ballerina pink Jimmy Choo's, I love these so much. I have worn them with every Christmas party outfit. Since I got these, I've wanted to explore a little more Jimmy Choo. And these are probably not what you might think that I would buy. Beautiful dust bag, Jimmy Choo, tissue paper. Are you ready for this? I think you're gonna be really surprised with what I went with because it is a pair of sparkly flat shoes. How spectacular are these? I don't think my camera can even handle the sparkliness. I just saw these on the website and fell in love. I instantly fell in love with these. I don't wear flats that often because um, I'm quite short, but when I do, I want them to be absolutely incredible. And you guys know when I invest, I like to ensure it's something that I'm going to wear for many, many years. I don't want it to be something that's particularly on trend. And these are the kind of thing that I will literally cherish for years and years and years until they are falling apart at the seams, which I don't expect them to because they are Jimmy Choo. So as you can see, really big. Um, it's almost like glitter detail. It looks like there are actual little crushed diamonds in here and then you've got this bow detail on the top here slip on which is really really practical super easy to slip them on and off when we have our christmas party here at the house it's actually this saturday i will wear these because they're super comfortable to be wearing in the house i can be dashing from a to b um and looking at super chic as well i'm just gonna slip them on because i cannot wait to see if they fit oh they are so gorgeous i'm just looking at them in the mirror they're quite a wide fit so i'd say if you've got wide feet then these will still be absolutely perfect for you but my foot doesn't feel like it's slipping around anywhere they are so so gorgeous oh my goodness oh and i got my usual size and i would say they are there is a little bit of room so i could have done a half size down but i don't think i'm going to bother swapping because I don't want to be without these for the next few days. So that is my final purchase from Farfetch. I'm going to share with you another pair of shoes next. These I picked up in the Black Friday sale from Shopbop. Um, Shopbop is an American retailer. I would say it's a little bit like... We don't really have anything similar in the UK, but I guess it's kind of like an online-only... Selfridges mixed with ASOS. It has a really nice selection of brands. I spotted a pair of Sorrel boots there on the website and they were so much more affordable um, to buy them via Shopbop in the US as opposed to anywhere that I could find in the UK. However, the shipping was really expensive so what i actually did was i had these shipped to my friend Rory that lives in New York and i picked them up yesterday so that was great and the shoes that i bought are these absolute beauties oops so they are sorrel uh, snow boots i have not owned anything from sorrel before but i have lusted over their designs for many a year super duper grippy soles so on snow days and when we go skiing like proper snow ice it's not gonna they're gonna be super duper grippy they are the most stunning light pink leather and then they've actually got a rose gold leather at the back it's very subtle but absolutely beautiful and then what i love the most about these is this like sheep shearling section in the middle which makes them look so cozy they've got rose gold eyelets along the side here and they just look like they're going to be so comfortable so warm and toasty and so practical so this is this is kind of another little gift to myself and yeah I got these from Shopbop. As you can see I haven't taken these out of the packaging yet but something else that I got in my Shopbop order is this pair of earrings. They are like a double, quite hard to show you, a double pearl earring. How do you even get these out? They're like trapped in a little plastic bubble. Oh, huh, that was easy. I have had a pair of earrings like this before um, and I've absolutely, and I absolutely love them, but they weren't very good quality, so the actual covering on the pearl started to peel away. So these are a replacement for a pair of earrings that I've had for many years and absolutely love. They are actually a really light pink pearl and as you can see, rose gold um, going through the ear. I think they were around $30, so not mega mega affordable but not expensive. I found that the prices of jewellery on Shopbop went quite astronomical. Couldn't really figure out what price level the retailer is but because it's an aggregator I guess they have brands of all price levels. I'm actually going to put these in now. I love these earrings by the way. These are from uh, Soru Jewellery and I've mentioned them in gift guides and things like that. It is a beautiful, beautiful brand. 
a pretty high price point, so definitely one to pop on your Christmas wish list. But for the sake of trying out my new earrings, of course you can wear these either way round, but personally I think I'll mostly wear the small pearl at the front and the big pearl at the back. There we go. I just think they look so elegant. There is something so timeless and classic and classy about pearl earrings and these are just a little bit different. The fact that they've got the big at the back and the small at the front and as I said yeah you could rotate them. So this is what they look like. Excuse the mega close-up. I think it's just a gorgeous way of having a slightly more statement pearl earring. They really do look beautiful. They look white or cream from far away but actually when you get up close you can see that they are just the most beautiful delicate pink shade. So very happy with my Shop Bob order. What to share with you next? Um, right in front of me here I have a new coat. <laughs> Another new coat I know but I do have a one in one out system so I have been um, donating a few of my coats lately to local charity shops and things like that so don't worry my coat wardrobe is not overflowing but this one is perfection. This is the most gorgeous coat, brand brand new from And Other Stories. I always find the quality of their outerwear really good and very classic timeless designs that are going to be well worn for many years to come. This is quite similar in design to do you remember my Reese Lawson coat? Not this year's Lawson, I don't know why they have the same name, but last year or actually 2017's Lawson, the tan coat, double breasted, basically exactly the same of this but as this but in a camel colour and even though it's out of stock I still see so many of you clicking through my old links for that coat so obviously it's still really really popular I will leave the this year version of the Lawson that looks similar down below as well but anyway that was a huge digression this is basically the same silhouette um, pretty much the same material, a little bit cheaper than the Reese one, but in this beautiful cream shade. So I know that I'm going to get so much wear out of this because I love the silhouette, I love the shade, it's a little bit smarter. And while I have got a couple of really beautiful white coats, I don't have anything quite like this in my wardrobe. Did I need it? No. But coats are for the next few months the most worn thing in your wardrobe and the part of your outfit that everyone sees so I was very happy to make the investment and it is such beautiful quality I'm gonna wear this today we have a really nice day planned in London we're going it for um, a bit of Christmas shopping in Selfridges so this is what I shall be wearing if the try-on clips are a little bit different in today's video um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do them yet but it's because we actually have a bed laid out in this room for Charlie's younger sister she's staying here this week for um, work because of the train strike here in London so I have a little bit less room to do my try-on clips but um, I'm sure you can still see the beauty of the items. Next I have a gorgeous jumper dress, another winter wardrobe essential. This has just got the most beautiful um, pattern to it. It's almost a little bit fair isle very traditional winter classic style. This was a really, really affordable piece. I was actually having an interesting conversation with my friend um, Rory, the one that lives in New York, and, he, and we were discussing how in general, and I hope no one finds this off offensive, but in general I find that the products in America in American retailers are so much lower and so much more of a high price point than European brands and I'm really not meaning that in any offence whatsoever it's just something that I have personally noticed but there are retailers that have come over from Europe that are available in America where you get better value for your money I'm not saying the quality is the best quality in the world and they're not the most affordable products in the world but I feel like the value what you're getting for your money is so much better so retailers like Reese, oh, like Reese and other stories, H&M, that you can get all over the world but originate in Europe, I found that the value is much better. Digression, but the reason why I mention that is because I actually got this from H&M in America, um, but I could just as easily have bought it in the UK. But it is a jumper dress that's styled with over knee boots, maybe a faux fur gilet, um, a gorgeous coat. It's something that you'd never be able to tell if styled correctly that it's an affordable piece, so you just don't need to spend. I mean, I'm thinking about Revolve right now. Imagine a jumper dress with the exact same material composition as this. In fact, this is actually made, kudos to H&M, because this is made from 64% recycled polyester. 80% of this, ju this jumper dress is made from post-consumer waste. So you know sometimes in H&M you see these little bins in the store, these like turquoise bins, and you can donate your old clothing and you get a voucher. The fibres from that clothing have been recycled to make the items in this Conscious Collection. Sorry, I actually read that wrong. 80% from pre-consumer waste, so that might be off-cuttings or extra bits of material from the factory, and 20% from post 
post-consumer waste. So products that have already been worn and used before. That is incredible. I know so many brands are being accused of greenwashing, but at least H&M are really making an effort to use recycled materials. And I highly appreciate that. And yet you're not paying through the roof for it because some of these sustainable brands are very expensive. <sighs> Love story by H&M over. It's a gorgeous piece and um, an essential in a winter wardrobe. I picked up quite a few classic pieces for my winter wardrobe in the Black Friday sales, including this jumper here. Um, I mean, there's not really much to say about it. It's just a classic cream jumper and don't we all need one of those? At least one of those in our wardrobe. Gorgeous soft material. If I show you a close-up, you might be able to see the material is quite fluffy. Could be a little bit itchy on some people, in which case you will want to wear a thermal underneath it. It really is just the most classic and simple silhouette that you could possibly find. I have another jumper dress next and this one is completely different to the other one that I showed you aside from the fact that it is light in colour. This one has got a little slit down at the bottom, a built-in um, tie detail for the waist so you can enhance a feminine silhouette and while the other one was baggy and um, more relaxed in fit this one is a lot more bodycon and clinging so it depends on the silhouette that you prefer. Both can be styled very similarly with a beautiful um, perhaps a missima necklace, some over knee boots that would look absolutely gorgeous. Just to break up the knitwear, the next item I have to share with you is this beautiful skirt. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll already have spotted this. It had so many questions because it really is quite a statement piece. This is my beautiful new skirt. And again, this was in the Black Friday sale, but I believe it's still 20% off, which is amazing. Probably gonna sell out quite soon though because of that. So I will leave it linked down below. I wouldn't recommend hanging around. This is actually a size bigger than what I would normally have gone for, but because I wanted to tuck knitwear into this because of the time of year it was absolutely perfect so this is my new tulle skirt with sequin star embroidery how stunning is that i wore this um with over knee boots and knitwear and a fluffy coat in new york and it was the perfect way of looking really stylish but also being super super warm of course there are many different ways of styling this you could style this with a little silk cami for a christmas party things like that it is quite um, voluminous because of the amount of material. But if you love statement pieces and you want something lovely and feminine but a little bit festive but not too festive <laughs> for Christmas um, or any of the festivities, then I just absolutely adore this and could not recommend it enough. God, I wondered what that was on my shoulder, but it's the detail on this jumper. It's got these really nice kind of details the shoulder. This is H&M as well, also made made from post-consumer waste. Speaking of things that I featured on my Instagram while in New York, the next item new in my wardrobe, yes it is another coat, but oh my goodness how gorgeous is this. I wore this um, at Top of the Rock in New York, you guys may have spotted that picture on my Instagram. This coat is under a hundred pounds and yet I feel like it looks like Max Mara. I feel like I could have told people that this coat cost me £800, literally 10 times its actual price and people would believe me. It's one of those pieces and I feel like I have a bit of a radar, I'm a bit of a magpie for those pieces which look far more expensive than their actual price tag. As you might guess, this coat is actually reversible so it's got the poppers on this side and this side. Very, very clever so you can literally wear it as a brown shearling effect coat or as this beautiful Borg coat and I think it looks even more expensive if you flip the belt around so you have the opposite style belt so I was wearing it this way round um, with the belt showing the Borg side sorry the um brown side you're getting a lot of coat here for 89 pounds so I feel like the value for money is really really good here but overall the effect of this how it looks it does keep you nice and warm because of this lovely Borg material and the length is also really elegant and really practical too so yeah really really pleased that I found this and it is very new in stock new online so hopefully there will still be your size left online if you choose to um, treat yourself to this treat yourself to 2011 Something else that I wore in New York is this beautiful pink knit. I'm always looking for statement knitwear. Things which will keep me warm and be a beautiful colour as well. This is from a brand called Stein Goya, which is a brand that I've not shopped from before, but I absolutely fell in love with this jumper. I styled it with the Star Tool skirt, and I thought it was a really nice way of getting my favourite colour into a beautiful outfit. Next, I do have another coat, and it's another one which is really lovely and affordable. This one is a full-on... Borg coat. It is really, really 
really lightweight actually it's not going to be the warmest of things but if you live somewhere maybe where the temperatures don't get super cold but you still want to get those autumn winter vibes this could be a really gorgeous option so it is this lovely fluffy borg material but as i said quite thin the reason why i got this is because again it really reminded me of something that i've seen on revolve for 10 times the price so I wanted to show you a way of getting that chic winter look without breaking the bank. And then I know so many of you fell in love with my Topshop sequin skirt. It is the most beautiful piece, perfect for Christmas parties, but it sold out super quickly. So when I saw this online, I had to pick it up because it's actually more affordable than the Topshop skirt and pretty much identical. The Topshop one has slightly um, more pleats in the skirt, but so similar and still in stock. Naturally, I'm not going to keep this because I do have my Topshop one, but I wanted to share it with you anyway because um, I know so many of you loved the Topshop. So this is a gorgeous sequin skirt that you can wear to Christmas parties or just to look fabulous during the festive season with some knitwear. The reason retailer also has a matching long sleeve top so you could in fact wear this as like a sparkly dress if you so wanted to but it's almost like a champagne colored material with silver sequins on it so it's just the most beautiful design and a very lovely elegant length for this time of year. And if you are a sequin lover, then you are going to love this. When I featured this on my Instagram, so many of you bought this already, but I just checked and it is still fully in stock. It is this spectacular, absolutely spectacular sequin dress, long sleeve. It's quite um, figure fitting at the top here. And then it flares down, or not flares, but it kind of goes down into this gorgeous skirt with a slit. I took some gorgeous pictures with Georgia down um, by Chelsea Bridge. Love those photos. You may have spotted them already on my gram. Definitely worth following me if you don't already. It's Josie LDN, like Josie London. And it's where I share clothing pieces first and you can always click the link in my bio which takes you to my like to know it page which is where you can shop absolutely everything so that's a little um tip if you want to find my outfits and what I'm wearing and buying quicker I also share sales and stuff on my Instagram stories but I digress it's all about this dress which is perfect for Christmas parties I want another Christmas party I'm trying to think what I've got coming up in the diary my next Christmas party, I will be wearing this for sure. I think it looks gorgeous. Maybe with my Jimmy Choo slippers. Oh my God, what a sparkle overload that would be. But I love how this fits and I believe it's 65 pounds. So not mega, mega expensive either. And I'm pretty sure I spotted this in Topshop in Nordstrom as well. So US girls, I will leave a US link to this down below as well. If you watched yesterday's Vlogmas, which was um, me packing for New York, you might have seen that I was wearing my new leggings while I was packing. These are from Sweaty Betty, of course. Do I ever wear leggings from any other brand? No, because I love Sweaty Betty. Quality is absolutely tip top they have the sweat wicking properties so you don't get hot and sweaty when you're wearing them these ones aren't but many of their legging designs are reversible these have got the butt lift um, technology in there so, you, so they make your bum look amazing and they're really high-waisted so just the cut of these is absolute perfection they do also have little tiny pockets in case, in case you want to put like your gym keys or anything like that in there and a zippy pocket at the back but excitingly remember I do have a discount code for sweaty Betty which is so amazing because it is size wide SB Josie 20 I'll leave it on the screen here for 20% off the entire site so definitely pick up a pair of leggings for either yourself or for someone as a Christmas gift they make the most amazing Christmas gifts all Charlie's mum ever asks me and Charlie for for Christmas is a pair of sweaty Betty leggings and I will definitely be using my own code to pick that up this year but I also wanted to share with you this pair of trousers also from sweaty Betty um, they actually are about to go in the wash so I'm not gonna show you too much but this is my new pair of merino wool leggings from sweaty betty i posted a few instagram stories from the plane on our way to america and so many of you are like oh my god josie those leggings look amazing where are they from they are sweaty betty they are in this gorgeous oat color which is so neutral and practical and versatile looks very very chic they have got little pockets as you can imagine so soft and comfortable and yet quite smart looking as well so absolutely perfect for flying high waistband rose gold detail here on the toggles 
and then they go down into a cinched in bottom so you can wear whatever shoes you want they still look lovely and smart I personally wore my moon boots to travel in so that I was super duper comfy darlings I have another handbag to share with you this is really quite special so I have worked with Chloe fragrances a little bit over the year and I received the most insane delivery from them they sent me a personalized Chloe fragrance so this has got my initials on it this is one of my all-time favorite fragrances it is such a feminine elegant and just the most mature beautiful fragrance gorgeous gorgeous everyday scent so they so they very kindly sent a personalized bottle of this but they also so kindly sent over a chloe bag oh my goodness how lucky am i such a generous christmas gift from chloe this is the vanity bag some i've seen some retailers call it the sunglass case because there is actually um a little clip there on the inside which you can attach your sunglasses to which i did in new york and then on the other side there's like a little purse section so it's kind of a wallet on a chain but more roomy this is the perfect size for the biggest iphone that's what i have and then on the other side so it's got a double zip it's a very slim section so i was putting um, your phone obviously would fit in here, but I was putting my cards in here. It has got a crossbody strap, and I think this is my only black handbag. Super, super practical colour, and just the perfect little size for a crossbody bag to have all of your essentials. Super close and easily accessible, so I'm so, so grateful. Thank you so much to Chloe Fragrances for sending this. It is so generous, and I feel very, very lucky to have received a Chloe. And I'm just going to finish on a few final knitwear pieces. So this one is a classic cream knit, but with a little bit of a kind of cowgirl touch, I'm going to call it, with the fringe detail. Really, really lovely soft material, high neck, and then you've got the fringe detail going into a little V on the chest area. If you love a classic knit, but just want something a little bit different, a little bit more... Um, statement making then this is really really gorgeous for that speaking of classic knits with something just a little bit different i next next i have this jumper so once again a plain knit but then it's got this really lovely ruffle detail this actually reminded me of a jumper that i've seen in club monaco um but a fraction of the price the silhouette just looks absolutely gorgeous because where the frill is placed it just really enhances the shoulder area and ruffles are of course one of the biggest trends this winter slightly ballooning sleeves but nothing too dramatic and again the most beautiful soft material so it's really comfortable great for um those days when you want to be super comfy but also look very chic indeed and again styled with a gorgeous gold pendant necklace would be a beautiful look and then basically ditto another gorgeous jumper classic with a little bit of detail on the shoulders this coat hanger isn't really doing it justice but it has this kind of tuck detail up here on the shoulder which just makes a little bit of a statement but nothing too dramatic if you want a slightly elevated knit perhaps for your work uniform to wear with a pair of smart tailored cream trousers be a gorgeous look completed oh my goodness completed with the gucci belt that would be so so chic and yet so comfortable i'm all about that at this time of year so this is my final new knitwear and i did get this in the black friday sales but it is still in stock so i'll leave everything and any um remaining sale codes linked down below and that is everything that is new in my wardrobe for december 2019 really hope you enjoyed looking through these pieces with me don't forget to let me know in the comments if you would still like to see this kind of video um next year and if you've got any other ideas or videos you'd like to see next year then please let me know as well anything new you'd like to see from me then I'm all ears hope you're excited for the new york vlogs tomorrow i'm about to finish off editing them and they are they're so exciting we did so much fun festive stuff so keep your notifications turned on for that because i am uploading vlogs as and when i'm not really sticking to the schedule with vlogs there will always be a video throughout the rest of the month on tuesdays thursdays and sundays but there will also be additional vlogs so make sure your notifications are turned on right i'm gonna go now darlings because this video is getting nice and long but thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye